What's up? How y'all doing? Um, LaQueen here again. I got some stuff on my mind, y'all. I, I ain't going into the details about who I am and all this, that, and the other. I'm just asking you to just, like, check out my other videos. You check out them videos, you see everything, what I'm about, what I do, all that, this, that, and the other. However, I had to come and make a video about this. You know, it's been a minute since I made some videos because it's like... I've been a little in my age. I'm in pain now, you know? If you know me, you know that I have a prosthetic limb. You know, here my baby is right here. Here my baby is right here. I have to, like, take them off when I come in the car, y'all. Like, when I go places because I just need some comfort. Like, he, he said he ain't trying to get on camera right now. All right, boo. You going right there. It's all good. It's all good. Anyway, you'll check out from my other videos. Like, I've been having some, like... I would call it technical difficulties, but ain't nothing technologically about my prosthetic leg. So I don't know what you'll call it, but I'm not only just having problems with my prosthesis, I'm having problems with my leg because I just been putting in a lot of work lately. Because if you know me, you know that I go in and when I go in, I go in, in like I make a whole new pathway when I go in. <laughs> It's a whole new everything. When I go in, you like, damn, this was in. It looks so different. So anyway, um, yeah, my body is going through a little transformation, along with a lot of things in my life that's been transforming lately. So it's all good. Everything happened for a reason. So with that said, I've been laid up for a minute. In my attitude, my mood, personality, you know what I'm saying, whatever. It's been like up and down, up and down, I must say. But mostly up, mostly up, I must say. At first, it was down, it was down because my mind wanted to do something. My body was like, nope, no, you can't. And if you know me, if you watch my other videos, right, you'll know that I don't play that. I'm that type of like, if my man say do it, my body better do it like yesterday. But it got to the point, like, right now, my mind tell my body to do it. And my body, like, hold up, let me um look at my calendar. <laughs> Whatever. When that shit first happened, I got mad. I got fucking disrespected. Because I'm like, I'm the pimp you the hoe. You do what the hell I tell you, you do. And then, like, that hoe told me she grew up. <laughs> now the hoe was like you've been abusing me and ain't taking care of me like you should be taking care of me and now i gotta rest my ass up and, and can't no money be made can't nothing happen until i so you take care of me so basically i've been taking care of my body nursing her and taking care of her and getting massages like daily like every other day me and my masseuse is like besties <laughs> <laughs> I love my masseuse when he leave up out. I, I go check him out the videos. I let you know. Like when I first started going, he didn't know what hit him, but now he know. You know, he don't breathe as hard as he used to. I noticed like yesterday when he left out the room, he was like able to move out quicker. But shit, me and him be breathing hard. I be like, oh, oh. I tell him like if I don't scream at you and freaking cry, you go in and go to freaking. So anyway, he goes in. He goes in. So with that said, uh, been going through some things with my health, right? So I'm later, right? That's what the video was about, right? Right, right. I'm talking to my mamas. Now, all my messages are mainly targeted to the mamas, to the females, period, in general. Oh my God, it's sort of like a bias when it comes to females. I don't know if it's because I'm a female. Could be. I don't know. It's because I carried and birthed six six queens. You know what I'm saying? I got six daughters, baby. I am consistent. Very. <laughs> That's what a control freak I am. I gotta try to make like I got some. I hear some type of control over the situation, but you know me, just look at everything. I hate that girl, and you know, man, ex husband. We wanted the boy, but we had another girl. Okay, it's cool. Two girls, all right. We we having more kids. We we go have that boy. We got two older sisters, three girls. Oh, okay, all right, okay. So three girls and wow, that boy, he gonna be so spoiled. We we gonna keep having kids. It's cool. He gonna have three sisters. Four girls. Whoa, whoa, then whoa. We then we like mm. 
that's when we thought about it like we took a little breather and then we fucked again <laughs> and then we had um self brown i remember the same midwife who delivered the fourth she delivered the fifth and the sixth but when she delivered the fifth and we we didn't know what it was and she was like y'all got a handful we didn't know she meant like a handful of girls we just knew like okay we know we got five c's five bruh girls anyway this ain't what the video is about y'all know eventually we got to six i got six daughters so like i was saying right my videos really is targeted to the female population why in particular because i know for a 50 50 fact when a woman is wise when a woman is strong when a woman has been able to trailblaze and pave her own way her seeds are there watching they're learning they're growing from it they're maturing from it they're gaining like everything that they need and what they gonna do they gonna have some seeds right and they gonna do the same thing and guess what they gonna have some seeds right and they gonna do the same thing guess what they gonna have some seeds right do the same thing you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying right 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 so why i don't go to the dudes y'all already know mama's babies daddy's maybe so i ain't trying to have no people go on more we get no dna testers and all this other stuff want to try to figure out if he is the daddy a daddy and all this other but daddy the daddy i'm thinking about them babies those rappers who call themselves the babies <laughs> anyway that ain't what this was about right I, talk, I bring my messages to the women because I feel like what I got to share with them, I know that I am not alone who's had these experiences and I don't want you all to continue to believe that you're fighting the battles alone, that you are the only one who is going through what you're going through and that it you may feel hopeless because of that and I am here, God damn it. Let you know. Let go of that goddamn hopelessness. Look at me. I got like a look at my baby. He said he he, he don't want to get on camera. He don't want to get on camera. But I just want to let them know about you, baby. Cause I love you, baby. It's me. You see me and him. We didn't came a long way. Look at him. He just got just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit, baby. He's shy. He's shy. He's just getting out of it. I understand. I understand. Cause when I became part this life i was having myself too look at my baby he reminded me i used to hide myself because i wasn't like y'all you know what i'm saying thinking like something wrong with me because of that are you kidding me i know right i know mm -mm. negative so like i was saying this message to the females i've been laid up right I've been watching a lot of TV being laid up. It's like, I've been doing a lot of reading, so don't get me wrong, because I keep my books with me. Um, You you best to believe I keep my books with me. I want people to get in twisting like one at a time. She's just laying up in a bed and watching TV. See, that's one of my things, right? You know, I mean, <laughs> I'm always moving. I'm, I'm going to go get her. I got a lot of Aries up in me. I got the Leo and the Sagittarius, so you know they ain't. Baby, like got the tourists, so I want this certain type of lifestyle. So, with that said, like, I ain't used to watch the TV, just laying there watching TV a lot, but I've been doing this shit and reading. When I get in my car, I had you know, appointment today. I was straight. I got to the appointment, I called them, like, can y'all come out to the car? Um, I'm out here. We basically had the meeting right here, my friend. See, luckily, I got a nice car. God is good. <laughs> So anyway, let me put my books back. I've been watching TV, right? Watching Maury. That's why I made this video for my sisters, right? What the frick is, frick, frick is going on with y'all? Like, I'm seeing some shit that's going on in this new millennium that was going on in the freaking 90s. Like, I'm from the 1900s, right? <laughs> that's how old. But you know, look at me. It ain't old. It is nice. It is nice and supple. Anywho, I was going through some shit in the 1900s that I see sisters are still going through in 2020. 2020? You going through the shit that you going through that I was going through in the 1900s? You going through it in the 2020? In the year of 2020? Come on, what is 2020 to y'all? That is clear vision. 
You're supposed to be able to see everything. Why do you think everything is going on right now? So you can stay blinded. It's all like a, um, I don't know what they call it, but it's a smoke screen, y'all. You know what I'm saying? All of this hoopla, you got to have tunnel vision you got to be able to see clearly and know what's going on in the physical and spiritual realm that's what i'm saying and i believe that's when a lot of y'all sisters is getting it all freaking wrong because you paying attention you see in school right let me tell you what the school system to get right not only did they do all that they do it did and then what they do on the steel right here tonight right now however I'm going to get on the census. They drilled in our head the fast census. You can either see, you can either hear, you can either taste, you can either touch, you can either, did I say smell? What I miss? <sighs> hear, one, two, three, four. What's the other one, y'all? Oh. <laughs> anyway, um, they had us focusing on those fast senses, having us sleep, thinking like that was all meant to be why they shoving Colgate and all these other two paces. <laughs> oh, why is she go for the two paces? I'm just thinking about the goddamn floor ride. You know, it get deeper than that, but it's just part of the goddamn scheme. So what I'm saying is like, what I'm saying is like, they got all of these right things that they want to be able to distract us with so we won't pay attention to the things that we need to be paying attention to and one of those things is they shoving in our face about the five senses fuck them goddamn five senses baby what about that six sense they teaching us about see you can't even believe what the fuck you see around these days you see magicians you give them a quarter they could give you fucking fifty dollars it's like nigga, why you do this shit with my eyes i'm seeing you and i'm touching you my nigga i feel you you know what i'm saying so you could still be fooled by those things you know what i'm saying and listen to people will tell you anything in your freaking air that's why a lot of y'all here right now because of what somebody didn't say it up in your mama goddamn ear <laughs> and she didn't believe the shit now what? Now, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying she ain't the only one. However, we have to be able to understand and recognize the beauty and the gift that is within us, that is in that third eye. You know, they give us that intuition. That's that sixth sense, baby. That's what it's all about. Fuck all of this. Fuck all of that shit. That shit could just see you left and right. You know what I'm saying? You fill up on some stuff. You thinking it feel good and it's going to be good for you. And then you wind up getting the shit. The next week it's all freaking toe up, lint it up. Because you know you didn't bought a fabric like that. This is nice. I like this fabric. It make me feel so good with my eyes. I'm seeing it. It makes me look so good. And other people looking at it like, yeah, girl, you look good. Good. It's like I know. I look good. I feel good. Feeling, looking, fuck that shit. What it is is like, what your intuition telling you, right? What your intuition telling you? What's your intuition telling you, ladies? We gotta tap into that intuition. It ain't gonna do. I'm gonna tell you a story, right? Let me tell you this story. Why I'm getting on this first before I get into my story, why I'm getting on this is because I'm seeing folks on Maury right now. I know that stuff be exaggerated. I know, I know, I know. I know it's like wrestling in it for real, for real, for real. But it's some truth in that shit. I watch body language, y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't about what you saying. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because you could talk all you want to talk. I am observing i am observing so with that said <laughs> so with that said i am observing these people on Maury, and even though i know they're going on these shows and they are extra you know ex ex exaggerating you know it's, it's different hyperboles within their stories of course it is you can see it but there are some times in certain situations and certain people where that shit be hitting home and you can see it in their body language they hurt and I'm looking at sisters hurt now with some shit that was going on in the 1900s. Like, goddamn, was you not watching Maury growing up too, goddamn it? What the fuck was you doing? Is you not watching Catfish?
Keisha, you not watching Morris? You not watching? What else we got? I don't watch TV that much. But the Judge Matheses, those Judge shows, and I don't know all the shit. The Housewives show, all the drama going. Come on now, do you not know that people are out here to get you, and you got to be smarter than being out here want to listen to one by somebody saying get hooked, want to see them do some shit. Like I said, when I be observing, don't get it twisted thinking. That I'm just looking, observing. No, boo boo. No, they didn't have the story. I want the whole story. And now, <laughs> this movement I got going on right here, the way things is popping up and crackling, lacking it. <laughs> I want to know your your numbers, baby. G give me them birthdays, baby. Shit, I want to know what planets is in what freaking houses my baby. So I can really know. Because that'll tell you stuff. Like, and people don't even know they own damn self. So I can't listen to you to tell me about you when you don't even know you, boo-boo. And that's our problem, ladies. We get in relationships with people we don't know. And when we get in a relationship, we just don't get in a relationship and walk down the street and hold hands with us. And go on a date and, you know, go to a movie, go on vacation, go travel together. You know what I'm saying? Come up with some big money-making ideas and, you know, start planning and building a business together and seeing what that's about. You know, doing some shit. Excuse me. We're not doing that. We hooking up with people and we hooking up. You on top of me, I'm on top of you. This way, that way, that way, this way. All right, your turn, my turn. All right, so I'm gonna know. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, y'all ain't establishing no healthy relationships with the people that you are meeting and greeting with, and you laying down with them too soon, and you having babies by them, and then you going no more, you wanna cry and try to make somebody be the man that he wasn't before you even met him, boo boo. Like, I'm be looking at it now, I'm like, well, why are you tripping? Why are you twipping? You ain't even a woman that you supposed to be. Why you yelling at him about being the man he's supposed to be? It go hand in hand. Like, and you know, I'm biased when it comes to the message that I give. But because I speak truth, I'm not going to sit up here and like sugarcoat no shit. You know, because if you a queen, if you a woman out here does not represent yourself as a queen to represent a king in your life. And you keep um, attracting these peasants and you want to clown them and talk about them. You, you, Thing is, you gotta look in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Been there, done that. I ain't talking about you not talking about myself. Cause when I'm talking, I'm looking at me. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying, ladies. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I was told you I'm gonna tell you a story. Let me tell you a little bit of story. Look at this story, right? A little bit of story. Now this what had happened, right? Now I ain't gonna say this was me. This friend that I know, right, 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 right. What had happened with her, right, is that she had went, she had been having marital problems, right? And um, her dude was a cheater. Point blank, period. Ain't no marital problems. She was a good wife. She was a adulting wife. You know, she cooked for him. She cleaned for him. She was a baker. She loved to bake. You know what I'm saying? So she used to bake, make sure cakes were on the table and the children were fed and clothed and teaching the children to read and write and all that fun stuff and being a dutiful woman you know what i'm saying whatever he wanted whenever he wanted it however he wanted it she would flip it and dip it and sip it and all that other good stuff right so i just like that to say that she was taking care of her, her womanly duties at the same time she was doing that and financially providing for the household and it's particularly for him as well because like he wasn't really um he wasn't really um uh, let's say stable when it came to like his career so when he would fall off like she was always there graciously picking him up and keeping him and the family up like all of those good things right 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 okay right so when all that said like she was all this that that and all of that right right not saying that she was perfect i'm not gonna be biased and try to act like something was perfect i know like nothing is perfect however for the gist of it this woman was like his cake and ice and ice cream too right right so with that saying, this dude still loose to cheat on her you know what i'm saying cheat on her to the point like 
giving her STDs, you know what I'm saying? Staying out late at night type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes not even coming home, coming coming back the next day with ain't shit but a wrinkle up suit and a motherfucking excuse. Did you hear what I said? A wrinkle ass suit and a motherfucking excuse. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, that's what, that's what she said. That's, that's what I heard, right, right. That's what I heard. So, despite him being a good for nothing, out giving her STDs and not coming home, but at the same time, at the crib, enjoying all the luxuries of what that married life was giving him, despite all of that, despite all of that, right? This young lady want to save her marriage. She wants to keep her marriage. She has a family. That's all she wanted. The family that she came from was like fucked up. So she's like, she's trying to, she's trying. She is doing, because I don't like that word trying. If you know me, you know that. Mm, I don't care for that word. So this young woman was putting in everything that she had to keep her family intact. So one day, right? A concert was coming in town, so she said, hey, baby, you want to go to, it was actually the Mary J. Black, right? Baby, you, you want to go to the Mary J. Black concert? They coming with Jackie Edge. What? What? I'm going to buy it. Uh, he, he already knew I was going to buy it. On it. Uh, oh, like, like, yeah, you get what I'm saying? That's, I believe that's what she said, that he already knew that she was going to buy it. Anyway, anyway. Back to the story. So she buys the tickets, right? To go see Mary J. Blige, Jagged Edge, and I don't know who else she said. However, what I had heard was that when A got to the event, they went in. And what happened? Oh, she said that. While they was out during the inter no when during the intermission time, they went out to get some drinks, right? Cause you know, like in a concert, you know, they had a little intermission, go out, spend more money, you know, and folks go and swarm and they want to see the big booties and the luscious titties, you know what I'm saying, and the fat wallets. <laughs> this is lady and the big dicks. Yes, we looking at your dicks too. You're looking at our ass. We're looking at your dick, too. In some cases, it's like, where is your dick, too? But um, that ain't about this. Okay, back to the video. So, she said during the time when they were in intermission, right? She's trying to keep up with him because it was really hella crowded. Imagine, right? It's a Mary J. Black Jacket Ed concert. So, and this was back in the day when Jacket Ed was hot. He had like, they had this song, um, me, me in the altar and your white dress. Oh, we ain't getting no young. Oh, we might as well do. Oh, mm, 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 uh, uh, let's get married. <laughs> I believe she said during that concert. He went up there to propose to her before they even sung that song, right? Something or the other happened along with that. But that, I just want to add that to let you know what happened that night, right? What, what transpired so you know what happened before that night, right? You know? You know what I'm saying? You got this good, wholesome, want to be all this she could be type of wife. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with this little player, disease-caring ass man, right? You know what I'm saying? She trying to make it work. She going buy tickets. They could go to this concert, right? Do at the concert, you know, they got the opportunity before Jagged Edge came on. I, I, I was told that, you know what I'm saying, they played it off and, and went up stage. And even though they was married, he got on one knee and asked her to marry him because they had this little opportunity to do the shit before the damn thing. And they couldn't find nobody else that want to go out there and ask somebody to marry them at the damn concert. And since we was already married, it was like, oh, oh, that's what they had said. That's what they said. Okay, we're going to get off of that. So, what we at right now is like the end um, intermission, right? And she's saying she was trying to keep up with him because it was crowded and he was moving fast and all this, that, and the other. But what had happened was this, right? What had happened was this. Some woman came up to him and said something to him, grabbed him by the arm and said something in relation to like, I know you didn't because obviously she was there and she saw the proposal on stage, right? 
And 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 my friend, right? My friend, right? She said that she was just standing beside, behind her husband at that time, just looking at him, looking at her and her, looking at him and the girl, looking at her and her, looking at the girl type of thing. That little triangle, like. And she said her dude just, like, walked away, right, right? So her and the girl were just looking at each other, right, right? So, and then she went and ran and catch up with her husband, right, right, right? She get with her husband, and she's, like, questioning him. They, like, get to their seat, and they sit down, and she's asking him, like, who is she? What is that all about? And all of that. And he just, like, got attitude, like, what the fuck are you talking about? And she's like, what the fuck do you mean what the fuck I'm talking about, right? Because you know, uh, obviously, she was still insecure in her feelings because she know what type of zoom she was dealing with and you know they was in a good period you know how that be when it was like you know he said he redeemed himself and all that asked for forgiveness and she want to give it to him you know what i'm saying i want to be fair want to keep her family together so she's like okay while well, we're in a good spot in our relationship let's take advantage and go and do this concert thing and have a date and like take it back to, back to the day and maybe we could rekindle the romance and everything will be all good with the end of heaven right and then she asked him and this nigga, his response was just straight. I don't know who the fuck she was. And my girl, right? She like, what you mean? You don't know who the fuck that is? That girl stood up there. She grabbed you. She she told you this. We standing up there looking at us. She looking at you. You looking at her. Da, da, da. You gonna roll off. You don't know her. Let's go find her. Well, that's what I heard that she said. Like, she just was like, if you don't know her, let's go find her and see if you don't know her. Because she, she heated. Because when she initially let him know that she was perturbed about what had happened, his first reaction was defensiveness. He didn't come to her knowing, knowing what a no he didn't been, right? He saw his woman in a, in, a, in, a, in a space of insecurity that another woman caused that he already know that he knew and if he knew, and if he didn't know her it probably was because he didn't remember her because he know he did with so many hers you get what I'm saying you get what I'm going with that he know the lifestyle he lived so he knew chances were possible that he knew this girl this girl felt like that she knew him to the point where she want to grab him and stop him in the hall and, and check and ask him what the fuck he doing doing some shit like that on stage with another chick like she felt comfortable enough to do that shit we, it was that type of environment i heard i heard right i heard so then what had happened was it's like this dude got attitude through the whole rest of the concert because his wife was pressing him like who is she where she come from why she do that if you don't know her let's go find her let's like settle my heart basically the wife was asking settle my heart put me at ease you put me in a state of um fright discontentment and dissatisfaction for so many freaking years and you say we making this work so this is bothering me now i need for you to make it right but he didn't sense that he didn't care about that he was all about himself and he ignored her for the duration of the concert because of her inquiries, because of her insecurities, because of her doubts, because of her um, disturbance of the whole situation. He let it um, take away his whole t moment with her. And I was told like when they left the concert, people were in a hall and on the street as they're walking to their vehicles not talking to each other at like a distance with each other and people were congratulating them because of what had happened on the stage prior to the concert but the but the wife had this this unsettling feeling within her it was such an emptiness that she carried with her as she walked down that street with a man who had no regards to her feelings and who gave her no validation, a sense of respect. And I'm telling you, ladies, you when you know, you know. And that woman spent many, many years accepting that type of behavior and worse. Because when you let something slide, shit, 
But you find out when you like going down the hallway, let's say, because I remember when I was young, I used to like sliding with my socks on down a long hallway we had in Chicago. And um, when you on the slab, right, you don't never really want to just slide like half the hallway. I remember sliding from the freaking living room all the way got down to the dining room. Because once you got to the dining room, the slide kind of, you know, chill. Then the kitchen next, the kitchen had like a brim. But from the living room all the way through to the hallway all the way through, it was nothing but smooth hardwood flows, baby. And my daddy kept them shiny. So like, I say that to say, like, I took my slide all the way. Nobody slide, because when you slide, that, don't that feel good? That's a good-ass feeling. I don't know if y'all slide, go down hills, things of that nature. That shit feel good. And with some shit feeling good, like, that's like having a nut. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Just watch it. And the women, when you come in, when that stuff feels so good, then you're going to stop halfway through. No, 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 no. Give me my shit. So I say that. When you allow these guys to just slap and just take advantage of you, take advantage of you, just keep on going. They're going to keep going. They ain't going to stop unless you stop them. They're going to keep sliding all through your life, hurting you, taking advantage of you, manipulating you, um, deceiving you, um, abusing you. Um, bringing you down, definitely not building you up. I'm telling you, ladies, we got to pay attention to our sixth sense. Sense. Our sixth sense. We got to be cognitive aware because I was asleep. I was asleep. Because when he did that to me, at that time, I should have went home and just did quite differently than what I did. I have no regrets, though. You know, I say that to say I have no regrets because if I would have did that, like, the majority of my C's wouldn't even exist. So... <laughs> So everything happened for a reason. So it's a reason for their existence to be here. However, what I'm saying is that I didn't expect more of myself. I didn't value myself. And because of that, I allowed for that man to do that to me. And I still went home to him. And yeah, I guess I gave it away. <laughs> Y'all already know I is my friend. My friend is I am what? I'm all about real. Look at my other videos. I don't be trying to have shit. I just was playing with y'all. It is what it is. I tell my story because you got a story to tell too. Don't be trying to hide. You know, we all we all got something we going through and that's what I went through, ladies. And I went home and I still had sex with that man and I still cooked for that man and cleaned up after that man and shot for that man and, and loved on that man and tried and, and did my best to be my best wife for him, um, mom for his children. And now, 20 some odd years later, I am in court with that man. <laughs> I just got some court documents the other day and we've been going on two years going to court. And it's been a very difficult situation. That man is not there for any of my seeds. And I'm not saying that You'll be in a similar situation. Everybody's situation is different. All I'm saying is that because I did not value myself when I was supposed to, because I didn't stand up for myself and make him value me like he was supposed to, because I did not listen to my sixth sense, that, that emptiness inside of me when I was walking down that street, basically alone as he was less than a few inches from me or less than a foot away from me and we walked in silence and he cared less about how I was feeling and I accepted it and by accepting it I let him know that was okay and I let him know each and every time he cheated on me or lied to me or stole from me or degraded me talked about me cursed me put his hands on me no matter no matter all the times that I've taken him back from him doing what he did, um, it did not make our relationship better. So I'm talking to my ladies out there. If you're in a situation, I, you, it's imperative for you to listen to your intuition and stop believing what he's saying. Stop believing what you see. Because if a person tell you that 
If a person tell you and show you who they are, you got to take them for face value for what it is. And as women, we got this tendency of want to put somebody in our head and recreate them to be the version that we want them to be to make us feel better because of the emptiness that we have inside. We, we will basically fill it up with anything. <laughs> And we got to stop filling ourselves up with anything, ladies, because when you fill yourself up with nothing, the results is nothing. And we can't afford to keep sacrificing our seeds, futures, so we could lay down with somebody and get some momentary gratification. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So I made this video to speak to young ladies, land. you all know to listen to your intuition. It does not fail you. That emptiness inside of me when I walk down this street. I ignored it and that emptiness became more and more hollow with each and every experience that I that I that I ignored with each and every test that I failed ladies look at your life look at the situations that happen everything happens for a reason when I say everything I mean everything I mean every motherfucking thing every every goddamn thing every thing everything you went to the store they ain't had no goddamn chicken wings that means something it means something don't get pissed off don't be like damn you a chicken store how the hell you ain't got no goddamn chicken that don't make no motherfucking sense then i come to the goddamn chicken store and i can't get no goddamn chicken this don't make no motherfucking sense then they gonna find some goddamn chicken for you you done pissed them the fuck off you done said you're gonna talk to their managers and all this other shit they're gonna find you some chicken or they're gonna wait till the next time your ass come and remember you the motherfucker that was tripping on some goddamn mr chicken because you had a goddamn them chicken shopping ain't no telling what type of motherfucking chicken you gonna get i'm just saying you don't know if they ain't had no goddamn chicken because the chicken that they had could have had salmonella and then your ass get motherfucking sick and freaking die and then your family lose the goddamn house that y'all was about to try to go get and get out the goddamn apartment building and all this other stuff like all i'm saying i read a book yeah i read a book <laughs> i read a book what was the name of that book five lessons before i die i believe i believe that's it Man, it was a powerful book, y'all. And essentially, it was just guiding you and just showing you how everything and everybody within this universe, we are connected. We are intermingled with what's her name? entanglement. That's what I'm saying. We are entangled, baby. <laughs> We got our own entanglement with each other and with each and every experience that all of us are happening. It is happening for a purpose. It's a domino effect, you all. It's a domino effect. And I'm just asking my ladies to please take into account the moves that you're making. Life is like a game of chess. You got to think of three, four steps behind. I mean, ahead of you. Not behind, because that's the, that's the root of a lot of our shit, is that we living in the past. Our pain is stemmed from the past. Our trauma is still from the past. Our anger is stemmed from the past. And then we just latch on to any and everybody. We give them all their shit. They taking our shit. And then your ass on more, and I'm laughing at you. Laughing at you and praying for you at the same goddamn time. That don't mean no damn sense. That don't mean no goddamn sense. Use your sixth sense. Sis. Use your sixth sense. Let your intuition. And how how you do that? Be quiet. Somebody out there like, how you do that? How you listen to what it sound like? Do they text? Cause they email me? No. Your intuition is like gonna come from with them, boo. You just be quiet. Be still. Be still, be quiet. Be 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 still, be quiet. Be still, be quiet and breathe. Be still, be quiet and freaking breathe. God never breathe. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> for the most part, what I'm trying to tell you is that you got to be still. That I meaning your mind, that I meaning your actions. You have to be quiet. So when you do hear, you know what you're hearing is from within. It's not a TV show. It's not your kids yelling in the background. It's not your mama. It's, it's just you. And then you got to talk and ask the questions. 
What do you want from me? Please bring it to me. I shall wait and be patient in faith and trust that you will bring what I need into my life that's going to nourish me and fulfill me in the areas in which I need. And in the time being, you're going to help me feel within myself all those empty spots so that I could be the best me for whoever you bring into my life because I want them to be whole. So please help me make my own self whole because I know as long as I'm broken, I'm not going to do anything but attract someone broken back to me. I know this for a fact. Like attract likes. Bump with that opposites attract. No, God. I am wise enough to know, spiritually enlightened enough to know that who I am, the the the, the frequency in which I vibrate is exactly what I'm going to get back in return. So I ask you, I ask you to within me, Put me at the highest level of frequency and allow me to maintain that frequency and be able to bring it everywhere I go and allow it to touch everyone who I am near and allow me to attract someone in the same or a higher frequency, Lord God. Yes, yes, yes. And I claim that to be true. You meditate, you speak it upon yourself, you say my mantras, you recite mantras to yourself. I am confident, I am beautiful, I am enough, I am hold, I am strong, I am worthy. You know, I am special, I am unique, I have a purpose to fulfill. I cannot waste my time, I will not waste my time, I will not devalue myself. I will not allow anyone else to devalue me. I will respect myself and demand respect from others around me. You have to speak these things because you ever heard of speak things into existence. So if you don't have the self-will, the self-esteem, the self-worth, the self-appreciation, the self-actualization, right? The actualization. If you don't have a self-actualization like you need to be able to make the wisest choices for yourself that are stemmed from the direction of your intuition, then you have to make that your priority. Right now, right here. Right now, right here. You have to make it your priority to be still, to be silent, and to speak upon your life upon yourself, what you want for you, for your family, for our community. Because us ladies, we got to do it together. Because like I say, mama's baby, daddy's maybe. So as mamas, we looking at that like, it's not no guarantee that that dude going to be here. I'm one of them females. I thought it was. I thought it was, but it wasn't. And I spent 20 some odd years with that man. So you don't know what your tomorrows lead you. However, in the meantime, prepare for your tomorrows today by being able to make the decisions that is aligned with your true purpose in this life. Fulfill your destiny. And the only way you could do that is to tap into that sixth sense. You have to. Like I said, bump what you hear. Bump what you see. Bump even what the fuck you feel. Because the feelings fluctuate like the weather. I tell my daughters, don't be making decisions out of no feelings. Out of feelings. Feelings fluctuate like weather. So you feel like this today when it's sunny and um, like 72. But tomorrow you got some different feelings. When it's like 102. <laughs> you know, the humidity is like... Your feelings going to be different, so the choices you made then may not be the choices you want to make. So you got to be practical. <laughs> That's the Capricorn in me. You got to be. You got to be practical. The Vir the Virgo in me. Yeah, I, I, I want to mention this before I... Um before I end this, I am um, doing astrology um, readings at this time. It's, it's deep, y'all. You know, I've done like... Um, I've done like a whole transformation not i have no i'm doing i am in the process because i was in law school y'all you know what i'm saying <laughs> 
I had even got an internship and everything. I was like in the envisioning what my suits was gonna be looking like. Cause I'm like, dang, I'm gonna have to change the attire. Gotta give me some monkey suits. <laughs> That's what I call them. But anyway, um, that was another life. And now I'm in this life. And I'm telling y'all, it's bigger and it's brighter. And I feel like it's better for me and, and I'm feeling good about it. And because of that, everything has been awakening within my creative imagination. And not only do I create jewelry now, not only do I create hair, natural hair and body care products that enriches our, our, not only our hair and skin, but also our mental capabilities. You know what I'm saying? Um, the chakra system, y'all. Copper. I keep copper on my body, y'all. Like, I keep the healing stones on. Like, what? And now it's all about this, baby. Now it's all about this. So if you want to, um, if you want to read and if you want to tap into, because I'm also a, a motivational speaker and a life coach. And basically what I'm doing now is um, incorporating astrology with that. That's basically because I've always been a motivational speaker. I've always been a life coach. You know what I'm saying? In, in some form of another. And what I'm doing now is we, we got to get this birth chart going. That, 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 that's, that's, that's step one. Step one is, hey, how you doing? Okay, you want to have this? Okay, business relationship? Okay, second step, give me them numbers. Give me them numbers. Because I'm not going to ask you about you. Because a lot of times people don't know about themselves. So I'm going to dig and I'm going to find out. But because I got those skills of being an attorney, you know, being in law school, I love researching. I love figuring things out. I'm an awesome problem solver. You know what I'm saying? Awesome problem. At one point in time, I'm like, damn, I should have been a detective. I would, Especially watching the shows. I know I would have loved that. I'm going here. I'm gathering information. And I'm putting those pieces together to come up with a goddamn resolution to whatever issue is at hand. I love that. <laughs> and when it comes to the um, psychic mind, when it comes to human behavior, my minor is in psychology. I ain't playing. I uh, yeah, my bachelor's in social work, minor in psychology, and um, even my daughter studying psychology. I got another daughter studying social work. It's in the joints. It's in the joints. We love taking care of people, but we we tapped into that sixth sense, and we know that we got a a bigger um a bigger purpose here. And the only way you're gonna discover what your bigger purpose is outside of your four walls at your home is to tap into that sixth sense. That's what it's all about. Tap into a baby. Tap into a baby. All right. I'm about to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Much love. Mwah.